Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Najish Mazhar Ali and today we are going to discuss our topic that is lithosphere. If we see the definition of the lithosphere, first I think we should break the word lithosphere. Litho means rocks and sphere means layer. So, if we see its common definition, it is more likely a layer which is comprising of rocks. When we come to the more ecological term or definition, it becomes the rigid outer part of the earth which consists of crust and upper mantle. Or we can also define it as the lithosphere which actually comprises of different plates. And those plates are the rocky plates. A very colorful slide which gives you the idea about the lithosphere. As we all can see that lithosphere is a layer of earth which extends from the surface to a depth of about 80 to 120 miles. Yet another diagram showing the lithosphere and the upper mantle. You can see here that it is the earth's surface. We can see that the outermost is the continental crust and on the other side is the oceanic crust. Beneath this is the lithosphere and then it extends to the upper mantle. So, it means that the lithosphere is basically composed of the crust, the uppermost mantle area and the inner core. Slide showing the crust, then the connecting layer, it is known as momo layer, which connects the crust to the upper mantle. Then comes the lower mantle, D layer, outer core, liquid solid boundary and in the end is the inner core which is actually composed of magma. Another diagram showing the measurements of the surfaces and the middle layer and the lower layer of earth. You can see that the crust and the uppermost solid mantle is there which is actually 0.1 km thick. Then comes the mantle core and after that is the area with not to scale. You cannot actually measure that. On the right side you can see that there is a Asthenosphere. Asthenosphere comes after the lithosphere. So students, after reviewing the different diagrams in previous slides, now you know that where the lithosphere is located. Yes, exactly. The lithosphere is located below the atmosphere and above the asthenosphere. In this slide, you can clear see the atmosphere, biosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere. Facts about the lithosphere. The main points about the lithosphere is that it extends from the surface to the depth of 80 to 100 kilometers as we already know. We know that our planet is made up of various layers and the lithosphere is one of them. The outermost layer is known as Earth's crust and the rigid layer of the rock is called mantle. Now what we perceive is that after atmosphere is our Earth's crust which is the outermost layer. 
Then comes the lithosphere, which is actually comprising of rigid layer of rocks or the bad rocks, which is known as mantle. A very interesting and common example of the lithosphere is the mountain ranges. For example, Rocky Mountain Range in Western North America. Students, you must remember that if a planet has land, it must have lithosphere because land is made up of lithospheres. Either it's Earth or other planets, it must have lithosphere. If we see the lithosphere of Mercury, Venus and Mars, it is much more thicker and rigid than the lithosphere of Earth. If we see the color of lithosphere, there is quite a variation. The color is brown or black or it can be green or reddish. If we see the outermost layer of lithosphere, it's more likely brown or black. Students, what you say would be the functions or importance of lithosphere for Earth or the life on Earth? If we see about the lithosphere, we see it as a major or large reservoir for all types resources. These resources can be renewable like water or non-renewable like fossil fuel. Everything that we are using is coming from this layer, the land layer that is the lithosphere. The lithosphere also gives us the mineral. It gives us gold. It gives us everything for food, for cosmetics, for treatment. Also that it is required for making a variety of commodities which man uses on daily basis. Yes, a very important question for you. Do you think that this layer is important for us, that is humans? But of course, yes. The lithosphere is vital to humans. This is the part of the earth that we inhabit, that is, we live on earth, we are terrestrial and we can easily access anything when we are on land. We all know that we cannot pass our lives into aquatic medium. We are the animals of land, so there is no man without lithosphere. You all must be wondering that if lithosphere is vital for us, the human, so it must be very important for the plants too because plants are the major producers of the land ecosystem, which is actually their own lithosphere. So yes, you are very right because lithosphere is very important as it has its impact on the earth's crust processes for example photosynthesis students why we say that plants are producers we say because they photosynthesize they produce they manufacture glucose and they release oxygen in air both are important for us and for plants the lithosphere is important in particular, if we talk, the lithospheric plates movement exerts the impact on photosynthesis development via periodic injections of carbon dioxide into atmosphere hydrosphere system. When these plates collide, so actually what happens is that when there is the movement of these plates in the lithospheric region, the carbon dioxide which was there it is being released into the air, into the atmosphere. And then from atmosphere it is being captured 
by the plants for the process of photosynthesis. This slide gives you the diagrammatic explanation of the role of lithosphere in photosynthesis that we have already started in the previous slide. Students, in this slide, I have provided you the references so that you can consult them and get more information. You can also explore more net website and also you can consult your reference book. I would like to suggest to you the website of National Geography. It has much importance with many terms of the ecology. So you can get more and latest information on such kind of website. Students, at the end of my lecture, I will say that lithosphere is not only our natural habitat to live, but also a reservoir for all type of natural resources. So we must care for our habitat and the resource. Best of luck and thank you all.